Thank you for organizing, for inviting me my, this talk in, in this workshop. I discuss about the uh, results being, de being developed in, in my group in magnet restrictions in multiferroic composites. This work is performed with collaboration Professor José Eiras, Professor Stan Garcia, and the Dr. Zaboto, and my student PhD student Alexandre Gualt. So, I introduced my, my talk about a discussion of the magnetic electric effect and multiferroic materials. This is a principal subject in this workshop I briefly uh, discussing, and the discussion of the effect of magnetic restrictions in, the, in, in room temperature and low temperature. So, the idea of the magnetic electric effect is associated with the effect of the fields, or electric fields, stress, mechanical stress, and magnetic field. The direct effect of the fields in matters is a pair of the magnetization in magnetic materials, polar electrical polarization in dielectric materials, and the strength, strength in mechanical structure. The effect of the multiferroic materials is a change of these fields in different properties of the material. For example, the magnetic field is change of polarization in in materials or electric fields of change or magnetization. But the magnetic electric effect is a direct effect of the field in polarization of material or direct effect of the electric field in magnetization materials. So, what is a multiferroic material? This definition by Hans Smith is that crystals can be defined as multiferroic when two or more of the primary ferroic properties are unit to the same phase. So, this is a primary, primary ferroic phase, for example, the ferromagnetism associated with spontaneous magnetization, ferroelectricity associated with spontaneous polarization, and ferroelasticity associated with spontaneous strengths, or ferrotoroidicity associated with spontaneous magnetic vortices. These effects appear in different phases in materials, but I exclude antiferroic forms order when does not appear in microscopic uh, crystal the effect of the, this, this phase. Okay. In our case, I study a composite multiferroics. The composite multiferroics is using a constitutive constitute one I piezoelectric materials, for example, PZT, PMPT, and the, and the other type. And include a magnetic material, and they present magnetic destructive effect, for example, cobalt ferrite, and the other type of the materials. So, Disappear a pseudo-magnetoelectric because end components are not magnetoelectric, but magnetic effect is a pair of the product of the different space. For example, you prepare a layered films with use a magnetic strict materials and piezoelectric materials, or use a environment of piezoelectric materials and put your grains, small grains of um, magnetic restrictive materials. So, appear of magnetic electric effect because of the electron produce a mechanical effect, the mechanical effect produce a magnetic effect, or vice versa. So, when apply magnet field, appear a magnetic destructive deformation. And the transfer of deformation constitute two for constitute one. And deformation via piezoelectric effect appear of the voltage. 
This uses this strategy of producing in room temperature magnetoelectric fate in composites. The first, the first um, uh, paper about this subject is in 1972 by Schulten, when observed this effect in baryotitanate and cobalt ferrite. In this time, this effect is very right, huge in compare of the other single phase magnetoelectric materials, for example, chromo oxides and the terbium phosphate oxide is more strength. But this is a many, many years ago. In 2000 years, this is a difference. This, this, this subject is increasing the interest. For example, use a substrate of the strontium titanite and put a ferromagnetic pillars, for example, ferrit cobalt and the ferroelectric matrix barium titanite. In this observe in this material, these pillars appear here by, uh, by, by paper by Zeng, by Science in 2004, appear ferroelectric properties and ferromagnetic properties. How do measurement magnetoelectric effect in these materials? Because it's an extrinsic effect, not intrinsic. When you apply a DC field, for example, 10 kHz in the constant field, and apply a bias field, for example, 10 Orsted, use a AC frequency, 100 Hz or 1, 1 MHz, for example. This amplitude of the signal of the AC field produces a voltage it and presents a dependence of the time. So, is observed a Interesting result in for 2003 is observed the transverse magnetoelectric effect and longitudinal electric effect. The composite magnetoelectric effect is an AC effect and represents a linear response with very small intervals only. So, the picture of understand this effect, you imagine of the when apply field in sample, the change of the size of the magnetic grains in terms of the, sense, the, the samples. This is strain of the, this of the change of the size of the grains produces a mechanical effect in piezoelectric matrix. So, in appear the voltage. So, I'll discuss about, in this moment, the magnetic restrictions. Magnetic restrictions were discovered by Jolly in 1842, when they observed this effect of the change of the size of the nickel and iron sample. For example, this is a crystal. When you apply field, the change of the size samples. The idea of when applied field, ER change of the sense, the sample, and the increase of the language in the direction when applied field. All materials, in principle, is a magnetic restriction properties. Special iron nickel is a alloys, show an important effect. Magnetic restriction is a similar thermal expansion effect. When observed in thermal expansion, this effect of the in temperature, but magnetic restriction effect depending on the field. So, this tensor of the magnetic restrictions appear of the, depend of the stress of the sample, depend of the temperature, depend of the field, and the direction of the field in relation of the crystalline orientation. For example, this iron in a 100 direction appear at 1.2 or 1.1 at 2.0 uh, plus then 10 uh, minus 5 and the polycrystal present different effect and terphenol in this direction at 200 times more iron. This effect of the field of the change of the size of the samples uh, uh, for example, the villari effect, the change of the susceptibility of material when they are, uh, 
appear of the, this mechanical stress in the sample. So, Martiusi effect of creation of electrical and isotropy of the susceptibility in magnetic material when applied of the torque in material. So, in the vitamin effect in the twist of materials when the electro, thank you. Oh, in the elect electromagnetic fields, apply of them. For example, you apply a current in the ferromagnetic tube and you apply a magnetic field is of the change of direction of the magnetic moments and change of the twisting of the fields. Magnetic structure is the effect of the magnetic domains. When of the sample in temperature above Tc show this phase. When of the cooling down the sample below Tc is a magnetization, for example, in this direction, one, 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 is a change of the size of the crystal cell. In this picture, it's more clear of the idea in the direction of different magnet domains, when a zero field, when you apply the field, you produce an order, order in the magnetic domain and the, the change of the sample. This migration of domain walls in material is responsible of this effect of the change of size sample. For example, sample in the different magnet domain, when applied field in this direction, is a change of the size of magnetic domain. For understood the characterize of the magnetic, magnetic structure proper, imagine of the crystal in this position is represented by the tensors in directions of the, the sample, if you, the tensor is asymmetric, this expressions is more simple, and the difference of the size of the sample depends on this coefficient, is relation of the position in the sample, and this matrix in directions, the cosine direction. So, in describing this position, it appears the complicated expressions, but for the Polycrystalline sample, this, this expression is more simple in, that, uh, in the variation of the size of the sample is proportional of the coefficient, co uh, magnetic coefficient in the direction of the field and the uh, magnetization of the sample. It's more clear in observe this picture. In principle, this direction of magnetic mean is, is uh, aleatory in random directions. So, if this is an axis magnetization, when applied fields of the change of domains in these directions. When, in the increase the field, the change of direction of domains, and after the growth, the increase of the growth of the magnetic domains. So, is this uh, action of the observation of the, the magnet restriction, this is a direction of magnetic domains, is described for these expressions. So, the magnetic, uh, magnetic restrictions, is origin of magnetic restrictions in materials, is associated with the properties of the magnetic materials. For example, in the free electrons in the metal, in a, when apply a magnetic field of the change of the population of the spin up and the spin down, and appear a Pauli paramagnetism. So, this is a Pauli paramagnetism, the magnetization is a proportional of the density of the station and Fermi level. This appear this contribution. When of the polyparamagnetism is, is a weak effect in isolators in the, in the metals. So, if you a uh, direct exchange between uh, delocalized electrons appear of the split of the bands in the magnetic structure. For example, in iron, the magnetic moments are 2.2 bar magnetons. 
This is an indication of the evidence of band ferromagnetism. If you apply the simple model, the mean field model, you it, this, this effect appears because of the molecular field, is depending on the lambda, is associated with the magnetization of material. Is it possible to estimate this difference of the spin up and spin down appear of in the different band, the, the band of the spin down and band of the spin up. So, this energy is a proportional a density of the states and the difference of the energy of the two bands. And the exchange energy is dependent on the molecular field and the magnetization appear of the dependence of the energy depending on the square of the magnetization. This is an important point. So, in this question, appear this difference of the energy when of the energies is show this again of the energy because of the spontaneous magnetization. Disappear of the stoner criteria of the energy of dense of states is, is plus one. This is a ferromagnetic effect. It appear of these interactions in metals. So the spontaneous magnetizations is possible to uh, appear uh, the susceptibility of the depend of the density of the state, depend of the energy of the band. So, any calculation of the magnetic restriction band appear of the dependence of the square magnetization. The energy is a proportional a dense of the energy in Fermi level and a period of the dependence of volume of the sample is proportional to a square magnetization. Okay, after the brief introduction of the ideas of the magnetic restrictions, I discuss about our results performed in these composite samples. For measurements of magnet, magnetic restriction measurement, you perform using a capacitive cells. When of the applied field, the sample expand and the change of this, the language of this, this in the in the in the in the, capa, in the capacitor, and this difference appear is proportional of the uh, expansion of the sample. And the magnetic electric effect use a DC field and the AC field and use a locking for observe of the effects of use a AC coils and DC coils for apply in the samples. The sample is, uh, is synthesized by a ceramic groups of Federal University and the, and the sample synthesis in two, in two parts you prepare independent of the ferrita, uh, cobalt ferrite and the nickel ferrite, use uh, different uh, uh, powders and the mix and the calcinate in 900 Celsius degree and the ball milling for 10 hours. This observe the magnet, ma, ma, saturation magnetization, saturation magnetization as a function of the synthesized temperature is observed of the increase of the saturation magnetization and the decrease of the coercive field for nickel ferrite and cobalt ferrite. And the piezoelectric matrix PNPT is, a, is a synthesized by a, a, a standard hold and the synthesized in different uh, conditions and the this a characterization of the polarization as a function of the applied electric field. In this case of PZT, PBN, EPM, PT. This X-ray diffraction partner shows this phase associated of PM, PT and CFO, né? Uh, cobalt ferrite. This uh, X-ray diffraction show is a uh, no um, 
contamination of the phases in the electron microscopy observe of the black point is associated of the ferrite and the green part is associated of PMPT matrix. After synthesize the samples, you perform a magnetization using a physics property measurement system, using a extraction magnetometry technique, and obtain a serum uh, is a compound and different temperature of synthesized, 90 to 50 Celsius degree, uh, 1,140 degrees. Is observed of the increase of the saturation mag magnetization and remanent magnetization and the decrease of the coercive fields. When of the decrease coercive field, uh, the, the magnetic domains is a decrease too. So, this is a comparison, com comparison of the PMPT nickel ferrite composite and the, uh, the same uh, nickel ferrite. Obviously, the, the composite is a present small magnetization when compared to nickel ferrite, but present is a good result. When I compare of magnetoelectric coefficient to magnetostatic coefficient, you observe the same behavior is associated with the change of the uh, size of the sample is produced of the magnetoelectric effect. This is a magnetoelectric coefficient, is a magnetostriction coefficient. This, 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 this data show this effect is associated in the magnetoelectron and magnetostriction. When perform this, uh, this, this measurement in sample, I study of the direction of the magnetic field in relationship of electropolarization vector. When of the apply magnetic field in this direction, and the change of the direction of the sample is a change of polarization sample, and observe the effect of the magnet electric, the effect of the, the directions. So it's so this different uh, measurements, the zero degree a uh, 90 degree is a change of the signal of electromagnetic effect because of the magnetic restrictions is depending of the direction of field. When apply this field in the same direction of the polarization of the sample and apply the AC field for measurement, is observed this behavior is a zero degree. So, of the change of the direction sample, is a change of the polarization sample, this observe of the change of magnetic electric effect in 55 degree. So, is a change for 90 degree, is a opposite of this effect. When I calculate of the uh, magnetic electric effect as a function of the angle, is observed the same dependence of the magnetic restrictions because of dependence of the cosine theta square. But I need a constant in the angle and a constant in these expressions. What of the origin this constant? This origin is associated. Uh, <coughs> the idea of the magnetic restrictions depend of this form when of the sample expand of the free for environment. In this case, is uh, the magnetic restriction materials inside of the magnetic uh, piezoelectric uh, sample. So. In this case, you need a consideration of the details of uh, this structure. Imagine of my grain in the side of the sample, and apply magnetic field, is a change of the, the shape form in, inside of the ferroelectric. So, if you consider the te stress tensors, this form, when of the pier, of the 
The first term is associated a fourth rank elastic tensor, and this term associates a piezomagnetic coefficient, and this term associates of the correction of the magnetic restriction effect associated of the form. This term is a magnetization of the sample. This is a magnetic field. So, for polycrystalline samples, these tensors is represented for this matrix, is a complicated structure. But if you solution this equation, equation one, in one specific direction, direction of the applied magnetic field, is a pair of these expressions when associate of the magnetization out of the plane and the saturation magnetization of the sample and this a susceptibility associate of this the sample. So when the calculation of the magnetic coefficient appear these expressions, so this this expression depend of this uh, linear linear dependence of magnetizations appear here and quadratic dependence of magnetization. When I compare of the magnetic restrictions in high temperature, in, in, in room temperature, 300K and the 5K, is observe a big difference of the remanent magnetizations and this coercive fields because of the change of the increase of the magnetic domains when of the decrease of temperature. When I calculate of the susceptible magnetic restrictions using a square magnetization, this appear this dependence. This in green, this use a band model of this effect. When you have the stress model to consider the linear term and the uh, quadratic terms up here is a good fit of the results. Because of elastic property of the grains and the matrix causes the stress, additional stress of the grain. So these are quadratic dependence appear in low fields, but in high fields, this other term is important for describe of magnetization. So, in 5K, this, this effect is more pronounced. Is observed that the square model is a totally unfitted, but the stress model is considered of this dependence is a very good fit. When of the decrease in temperature of the sample for 5K, there is a press stress due to of the change of temperature cause of different uh, thermal expansion of the coefficient compared of the matrix of the ferro ferromagnetic grain. This is a difference. So, I finally my talk about the angular dependence of magnetic response PMFCs was investigated. This dependence is associated of the, uh, the dependence of the magnetic restrictive properties. Né? Magnetic field or maximum minimum values is the same of the magnetic coefficient, magnetic electric coefficient, and magnetic restrictive properties. And the experimental data revealed that the magnetic electric coefficient shows an exotic behavior as a function of the magnetic field in relation of the polarization vector, mainly due to piezoelectric coefficient involved the charge process and generation of magnetic electric effect. And the simple model that will describe magnetic strict phenomena for embedded magnetic particle system and the change of the important point is this consider of the environment for understand and magnetic restrictions in the sample. I would like the uh, acknowledgement for FAPESP and the CNPQ and the
Thank you for your attention. The um, composite uh, magnetoelectric materials, of course, have a, a very large coefficient compared to the single crystals. But because it's a mechanical mechanism, they're also much slower. Mm -hmm. Do you have any suggestions on how the speed could be increased? Mm -hmm. In our case, this, this, this response of the magnetoelectric effect is slower. It's not a, 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 a bigger, a, a fierce of the, a, a three three millivolts per hour. Set. It's possible of the distribution of the grain of the sample is not absolutely homogeneous. But when I compare of the magnetization of the samples and magnetization of the composite, this is observed as high values. It's an indication of not contamination of the, compo the, the ferrita in a piezoelectric uh, uh, extractor. But is this is a problem. It's not a big signal of compare of the other composites. Can you make it faster with finer grains, or mm -hmm. do you have any suggestion for how to make this device fast? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's okay. That's a good idea. So, in your introduction part, you show the some consideration for the. Uh, uh, like a band magnet restriction, but your experiment is uh, for the quartz iron oxide is insulating material. Is that, I mean, the, still the discussion is applicable? Of the, 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 the band magnet restrictive? Yeah. Yes, this, this, this uh, use of this, this model for a, is a mean field model is applied especially in, in metals. But in, in, in isolated systems, is is a peer of the is a possible the difference because of the origin of the uh, mean field is a different of the metal. But your, your analysis is basically used for the same. Conclusion. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. I, I, I compare of this this the dependence of the the square magnetization. Yes, this this deviation I, I believe so. This effect of the piezomagnetic uh, interactions in, in the sample when not, not concerned of the in the in the when of depending only square magnetization so i invite you all students for in sao carlos in uh, 11 and 50 of june in sao carlos is a second nano world school nano mundo uh, escola do nano mundo and of this this, this school is, is a peer of the collaboration of the French group of the Victor Hugo Etchings and Frank Vidal from France and the group of the Federal University of Paraná, Dante Mosca and the Victor Schreiner. So I was invited to participate of this school in this data of São Carlos. Okay, thank you.